Why, hello there, and welcome back to Sonic Nebulous. Alright, so, we've seen how some of Sonic's friends like Tails and Knuckles act, right? So let's go with our another good friend of his, Amy Rose. Let's see just how she fits into the story and what her gameplay is since she has a big giant mallet vice or pico pico hammer. Ready? Let's go. And here we are, in Robotropolis, which actually is pretty fitting to Amy's story so far considering that she was presumed roboticized and the Freedom Fighters actually never came by to try to rescue her. So who knows how many years she's been wandering the streets of Robotropolis. Ah oh well, she's got a few moves for her here. She's got the cool spin dash like a lot of other characters have, but this one is actually pretty good. It seems to do a decent amount of damage, like the SWAT bots normally take about 2 to 3 hits. Well, if Amy breaks out her um, mallet, no well, actually her spin dash, she can actually take them out in one hit. Now you're gonna have to excuse me here, I'm kind of uh, stuck. When I played this level originally as um, Scooter the Walrus, he was able to get to that fairly simply. But he was also a much slower character, and he's probably one of the worst characters to play in this game as. In fact, I struggled much later in the level with him, and I came over on the next section of the game there with him. Amy's a little better to deal with. She's actually a lot faster, can pick up speed a whole lot quicker. So we don't actually have to hit that bumper to run up the wall like we would have with uh, Scooter. Now, in order to use the uh, Pico Pico mallet, we just have to press right or left on the controls, and then I think was it S. Now, I'm still gonna be struggling here for a little bit, but I think I got it. Ah, never mind. Up oh, there we go. So all I had to do is, um, well, let go of the uh, right control as you're running up, so we're not continually pressing right and skipping in that small enough space. Because this game is like Mario in a sense where if you have enough momentum going and you're pressing the button as you cross a small enough pit, you're going to just cross it instead of fall into it. Now we do actually have a new enemy type here and this is probably the only level they'll show up in. Or at least the only zone. And those were the uh, red no Robotnik heads that come at you like the Zero Virus from X5. They're pretty interesting, they're pretty much like the camera except they don't click to take pictures, they just circle around for a little bit and then they swoop in for the kill at a relatively fast pace. See, and there you go, that's what bot was taking care of so much quicker. And of course we have the Robotnik virus trying to get us but we killed that guy pretty quickly. And yes, if you go up that uh, wall without taking out that gun, that gun will shoot you and screw you up. Yeah. Now, if you listen carefully in the background, you will hear Robotnik talking. It, he has like one voice clip he seems to use a lot. It's uh, about Cloudburster. I'll pull the audio out a little bit and we'll actually get a good listen to what he's actually saying. Hell, maybe we might learn what this Cloudburster is. Attention SWAT bot Unit 1. Prepare chemical payload for cloud seeding. Rendezvous with Cloudburster on Island of Nimbus. Precisely 1200 hours. Coordinates to follow. 
It sounds like he wants to use Nimbus City as a jumping point to rain down acid rain on the forest below it. Right there, I thought that was a statue of Blaze's, a uh, broken statue of Blaze, but I think it might be a broken statue of Maximilian. Which doesn't make sense since he lived in the uh, forest, Vice Robotropolis, where all the humans usually live. Alright, so now we're at the second part of this, uh, of Robotropolis. It's actually a little less labyrinthian than the first. It doesn't have as many, uh, weird places to jump from. And it, uh, like the first story, it, it too has it showing which way you should go. Now this level is pretty unique and that Robotropolis does not seem to have a bottomless pit in it like all the other ones do. Which makes sense since we're in a city environment. So what we do get, at least for this particular stage, is sewers instead. Now what happened there is we ran into a green ball which was our first instance of a teleporter. Oh look, it's Sally. I wonder what she's going to do for us. Nicole, Sally. Oh, hmm. Alright, so it looks like she just turns on the elevator. Hmm. I guess that's pretty useless, but it's alright. Now that gun we just destroyed was where I came over at, um, with Scooter the Walrus. Because for Scooter to do any attack, he actually has to jump on the enemy and hit them to kill them. That's the only way he attacks. And every time I came up at that gun with him, it always shot me, uh, shot me back and forced me to die. It's still ridiculous, but whatever. Amy kind of, well, I'll say it straight. Amy feels very satisfied playing her with her spin dash with the way things explode and stuff just flies away. She might be my favorite character to play as in this game so far from what little we've got of her. Alright, so the next part's a little tougher. Like before, we need momentum to go up the ramp and actually get into the piping up there. But, there's a certain way it's supposed to be done, and you're gonna see how the mistake is made here. Like right there, right? You can't get enough momentum on that platform to do it, so you have to be able to run straight at it without jumping. The thing is, going on the upper platform, or the most platform here, running at it still won't get you the momentum because you'll run into the wall, lose it all, and fall onto the ramp. Now, there is one way to do this, and we're about to see it in a moment, I think. And no, Amy does not actually have a spin, it, spin dash on the ground. So we can't actually be like Sonic and speed up that way. I don't even know if Sonic does that in this game. I'll have to take a look. Alright, so what you have to do is run from this platform here, the second one. That gives you enough momentum to actually go in there like that. However, even with that, it's still a little bit tough to get in. But we did it. We'll just come down and kill this guy. Like that. Ha! Now it looks like there are alternate routes that might lead to this stuff, but I really haven't found any secrets in this game as of yet. And no, unfortunately there doesn't seem to be a boss here either. I'm actually looking for him, but I can't find him.
Well, here we are, at the Capitol Building, Robotnik's Base of Operations. Join me next time as we talk about the place with Sonic the Hedgehog and see if we can end this game. I'll see you there.